So we're here with Kyle, Eastworks Glaze Chemist. What is the process for deciding on colors and how does that differ between core collection colors and seasonal glazes? So our core collection uh, consists of some more neutral tones uh, minus the Blue Ridge, which is an intense blue. Um, and when, so the seasonal colors are different because Connie will decide since she's the creative director, she comes up with these new and interesting colors that, um, go well with the season or happen to be hot right now. And, uh, she brings me color splotches and we sit down together and talk about which colors will be, you know, interesting, go well with the core collection. We'll decide <laughs> on a few of them and I'll make some test batches of things and, and uh, then, you know, I'll show those tiles to her and then she'll say, hey, this one looks great, but it could use a little bit more blue. Let's, you know, like bump up the blue in that. And so I'll do s run some more tests and then um, we'll decide on a color and make batches of it. And and um, we'll use it for about three months. And yeah. Sweet. Yeah. If possible, could you give a brief explanation of how you develop a glaze? <laughs> Uh, that's pretty secret, but um, uh, a lot of it, it, it works somewhat similarly to blending paints. Um, you, you know, if you want to make a purple, you obviously would add blue and red together. If you wanted to make it lighter, then you'd add a little bit more white to it. And so we have uh, similar materials to that. They're not just like paints like blue and red and white, but uh, they function in a similar way. So I'm, I'm blending colors much like you would with paints. What kind of materials do we use to make glazes, or is that a secret? Uh, that's, yeah, definitely proprietary. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't give that away. I'm sorry. Um, so how does the actual glazing process work from, like, mixing to waxing to dipping? Right. So we get our materials. Uh, they come in, like, dry powdered form. And so I weigh those up based on the recipes that I developed and um, – mix them with water and uh, they get sieved so that they're all like mixed together really well. And then um, uh, we wax the pots on the rims and the feet and uh, to leave the clay exposed so no glaze attaches there. And then uh, we just dip the pots in the large batches of glaze and then they get cleaned up a little bit and they go in the kiln. Cool. How does our glazing process differ from other commercial potteries? So a lot of people uh, spray glazes, which um, can offer a really uniform application of glaze, but it is very wasteful in that like there's a lot of overspray um, that doesn't hit the pot and um, ends up going through like some sort of air filtration system and basically gets wasted. Ours is really simple where we just use some little tongs and we dip the we just hold the piece and dip it in the wet glaze and so there's very minimal waste involved in that